सो हे गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल एंड आई एम बैक अगेन विद अनदर रियली इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो गाइस एज यू कैन सी ऑन माय स्क्रीन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट लैमडास इन कॉटलैंड सो गाइस इफ यू लाइक माय कंटेंट एंड यू वांट टू सी मोर सच वीडियोस देन आई जस्ट वांट टू रिक्वेस्ट यू टू डू सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल हिट द बेल आइकन फॉर फ्यूचर नोटिफिकेशंस इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चंस कमेंट्स पुट डाउन इन द कमेंट सेक्शन बिलो आई विल डेफिनेटली एड्रेस देम एंड गिव दिस वीडियो अ बिग थम्स अप शेयर इट विद योर फ्रेंड्स एज़ वेल नाउ विदाउट डिलेइंग एनी फर्दर लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद लैमडास सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल गाइस एज यू कैन सी ऑन माय स्क्रीन आई हैव अ लिटिल डेफिनेशन पुट अप हियर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स रीड दैट डेफिनेशन सो आई लैमडा इज एन एक्सप्रेशन दैट मेक्स ए फंक्शन Okay, so guys, uh, as uh, some of you might be familiar with Java eight and might be familiar with Lambda in Java, so basically, guys, in in Java eight or uh, uh, any other generally any other functional programming language, you will see such kind of arrow. Okay, and this arrow is none other than uh, the Lambda, and this arrow is actually used, guys, to create a expression, and that expression can be used as a function. so guys uh, those of you who have followed my previous videos if not then i will request you to go check out my default values and compact function functions videos that uh, it will be more clear to you uh, so what we can do with uh, lambda guys we can actually create a compact function at a one liner function okay but uh, what we were doing in compact functions we were actually trying to create a function we were having a name of a function etc but in case of lambda guys it is completely anonymous function okay so what lambda expression they help us to create anonymous functions in which case we don't have to provide them any name we can just give the expression and use as expression to actually perform some operation so let's see how we can do that So first of all, guys, let's create a variable. Okay, so let's create some variable and uh, let's uh, create a number variable and let's take this number as twenty. Okay, what I want to create is I want to actually find out the uh, half of this uh, number. Okay, let's create another value. and this value is actually not a uh, this is actually a constant value so let's take uh, it as half and now this half is actually some expression and what is this expression it says that whatever will be the argument that is being passed to this expression let's say that argument was n and that argument is of data type int so that's why the data type declared here is int whenever that expression whenever that int variable is passed we are going to return the divided by 2 or the half value of that integer now i can use this half actually as a function so this is actually an expression but i can use it as a function and i can pass some number inside it so let me pass here num uh, which is my variable that i declared before and now if i run this code guys this is going to actually print 10 here which is the half of 20 so let me just explain what has just happened for example guys for you for uh, everybody's convenience i will actually create a function half number and i will pass here a variable n and let me declare its data type as integer and let me declare the return type of this function also as integer and this is just going to return n divided by 2 okay now what i am going to do here i am going to pass and i declared a variable number and then i print ln half number and simply i pass this num value and uh, if you see this code guys if you see this entire function and if you see this print ln statement this is exactly what i have done i have actually created a function and i am just passing a number inside it and it is printing the half but instead of actually declaring a function actually making sure that it has some name and then it should be called i just created a anonymous function and 
what this anonymous function is uh, having is just an expression a one line expression which we have to do so just like uh, if you remember what i did with compact functions so what i did with compact function also was something like this that you were just creating a one line function that's what lambda functions do they just create a one line expression which serves like a function but to create a lambda expression you have to use this arrow variable okay so uh, that's the power of lambda guys you can uh, use this code you can execute it right there uh, where it is actually defined so first of all let's also discuss what's the advantage of lambda the advantage of using lambda is guys that if you do not want to create a function which is using multiple times let's suppose i am using this expression to half a number only once and I, I don't want to use it multiple times in that case you shouldn't declare a function and you shouldn't store it in your memory you should just create an anonymous function which is only available in this scope in the local scope and use that to execute your code so uh, using lambda expressions your code is much more concise your code is much more efficient you use less memory and that's why we actually use it but there is another uh, really important uh, use of lambda function and that important use is higher order functions so we can actually use lambda functions or lambda expressions to create higher order functions so what is a higher order function guys higher order function means that it is a uh, when a function takes a function as an argument it is called a higher order function so higher order function basically takes a function as an argument so for example guys let's create another uh, function here and let's create this function as uh, something called as update number okay so what i'm going to pass here is i'm going to pass a number integer and i'm going to pass an operation and that operation is something like this so that operation is actually a function and that function takes an integer and it's an argument and it returns an integer as a return data type and this update number function is also in the end returning an integer once this update number is called it actually calls the operation function it passes the num variable into it so num is passed and then it returns that value so this update number function is guys a higher order function because it is taking a function as an argument so there here we have actually declared a function okay so if you remember in my last video when we were talking about filters we actually passed a function inside a function okay let's see how we can use this so let's delete this code so let's delete this uh, this much code so let's say i have a number here okay and i want to half this number okay so what was the lambda expression to half this number let's write this again half becomes equals to uh, just create a lambda expression here and uh, that is num integer and num divided uh, let's not make it num because we already have a uh, variable name num here so let's take the integer argument as n and it is returning us a n divided by 2 so this becomes our lambda expression now i can actually call update number tell an update number pass this num integer as the first argument which is our first argument and the operation is the lambda expression which is half and you can pretty much guess guys that what this is going to return to us so this is just going to work exactly like uh, the previous code so instead of calling like half and then passing num like this we are actually passing the half function inside this update number and then the update number is executed in that function and returning us the uh, output so for example i can also create a function called as double 
in which whenever I am passing an integer value, it is going to return me the double of that value. So now if instead of half I pass double, this is not going to return 10, this is going to return 40 because 20 into 10 is 40. So you can see here guys that 40 is printed. Okay. So that is the advantage of, uh, the, that's a huge advantage of Lambda guys that you can actually uh, pass it inside a function and it, you can create a higher order function. Okay. So uh, if you want to create a higher order function guys, you are, uh, it is not necessary that you have to pass a, uh, a Lambda expression only. You can definitely create a compact function. For example, I can create a compact function like this. Uh, uh, for example, let's say there is a function half, there is a function double, there is a function called as mod. Okay, so let's say we are finding out the mod, modulus. So this modulus function is actually taking a num as an integer value and this is just returning n mod 2. Okay, so now this function, uh, this is our compact function. And what you can do, you can actually pass a compact function also inside your uh, higher order function. But to call a compact function, uh, you have to use something called as double column. Okay, so if you are not using lambda expression, then you have to use, if you are, if you are passing a normal function as an argument, not a lambda expression, then, have, then you have to use something called as double column. Okay, now if I, uh, if I execute this, uh, if this code then you can see that it is basically printing the modulus of that number so obviously 20 modulo 2 is 0 so that's why 0 is printed so for example if I uh, change the value to let's suppose 51 then this is definitely going to give us uh, 1 so there you go guys you can see that now 1 is printed okay uh, another thing to really note uh, guys that Kotlin prefers that any parameter that takes a function is the last parameter. Okay, so for example, if we are using update number function then uh, if you are passing function as an argument in this function, then the argument is the, the fun functional argument is the last uh, argument. So that's what Kotlin prefers. Okay. So the, definitely you uh, you can choose not to make it the last argument but it's preferable that you should make it the uh, last argument because if you do that then you can actually make your code even more concise. For example, you can pass a lambda but you do not need to put the lambda inside the parenthesis. So for example, I think that compact function is clear to you guys so let me just uh, remove this now. And let's write the update, let's call the update number function again. So what you can do guys, that instead of, uh, let's, let's uh, make it again. Let's say, let's create a uh, val, let's create a var uh, updated number. And in this updated number guys, you can do something like this, that update number. And... Uh, update number you can pass the number for example uh, in our case it's num and you can see that when I call update number when I call update number and I pass num the second argument should be my lambda expression which was the case before but just uh, uh, see carefully that I am not passing the second argument as lambda expression. I am not putting it inside the parenthesis, but I am just making the lambda expression. I am just putting the lambda expression right here. So, for example, I can directly put it here like this. So, in this case, I don't even have to declare my lambda expression and store it in a variable. I can just simply remove this thing also, and now I can print ln updated number okay so in this case guys what is going to happen you do not even have to so you see what happened that we just multiplied 51 into 2 and the answer is 102 so in this case guys you just see what what has happened uh, we are not even we do not even have to declare a variable of lambda expression and then pass that variable 
okay so if you are making sure that your functional argument is the last argument in your kotlin function then you do not even need to create a lambda expression variable and pass it you can just simply pass the lambda expression variable like this you can create the expression right here uh, you can even choose not to store this in a variable also you can just simply remove this also and do print and like this you can even remove the number variable also you can just pass 51 here and you can see guys that the entire three four lines of code is just just so concise it's all one line now okay uh, so guys that's about the lambda expressions and the higher order functions and also how we can use compact functions in higher order functions i hope this was clear to you guys and uh, if you have more questions feedback anything you want to say to me any any confusion you have please put down in the comment section below i will definitely address it and also guys i in the end i just want to request you to do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for future notifications I make your videos every day from Monday to Friday uh, and I'll see you guys next time and please give this video a big thumbs up, share it with your friends as well and uh, until then, bye bye.